morning. It's an early one. The sun's just popping up over the dam this morning. It's beautiful. Got my coffee. It is uh, August 15th. And uh, if you're from Nebraska, you know exactly what that means. It's bullfrog season. Well, if you are east of a certain area in Nebraska, then bullfrog season starts today for you guys. And uh, it's something I've done with my family for a very long time. And today, I got my uncle with me, and we're going to do a little bass fishing, but we're also going to try and catch a limit of frogs. So, that's the goal. i um, been seeing a lot of frogs around lately, and we'll, uh, once we get started, we'll, uh, I'll show you exactly how we like to gig for frogs. Um, a lot of people do. There's numerous different um, ways that you can do it. And uh, I like to fish for them. A lot of people spotlight or gig, but I like to fish for them. I think it's more fun. And that's what we're going to try and do. So, talk to you later. Oh, you got him, but he's in the tree? Yeah. Oh, oh, there he goes. First one in the boat. We'll see if he's big enough, though. Yeah, that's the butt. So that's the butt, so one, two, three, four, and a half. There we go. Let's see if I can get him put in there. A lot of shit to go through. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. Oh, he's caught. Oh, there he goes. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought I had him. I did too. <laughs> he somersaulted for that thing. I know he did. That's why it's fun to do it this way. Because then you see him do crap like that. I think he's been caught four times. Usually they'll bite it off of it for you. Oh, that could have been more perfect. Yep. Well, you just got the worm, though. And he swallowed it. Oh! He fell off right in the boat. I think he's too small. Oh, he peed on me. He's good. He's got skinny legs. Jesus. Skinny leg guy. Alright guys, not a bad start to the morning. Um, so, we like to cast for them with rod and reel. We like to use, or I like to use floating jig heads with the Z-Man worms because Z-Man worms float. Just works perfect. Um, bright colors, this is a green with a pink just something it, it's it's something stupid but the frogs like it and uh what we do is we go through like a little channel such as this and uh they like hanging out up on you know mud banks or just any bank in particular and once we spot them then we cast up to them and they'll uh They'll bite the worm or whatever bait you throw at them. That's how we uh, do it. They gotta be four and a half inches from the head to their butt. So it doesn't matter how long the, the legs are, it just matters how long the head to the butt is. It has to be four and a half. You can have eight per person and 16 in possession of the day for Nebraska. So yeah, we're gonna keep going through this channel and hopefully we can pop a limit and then uh, have some 
enjoy the rest of the time bass fishing. Take a bigger haul. Oh, he didn't get it. He's gonna got an exposed hook. I'm just gonna let him chew on it. <laughs> Seventh, eighth times a charm. Jeez. See, guys, it don't matter what you throw at them. They just like something that moves. <laughs> Hence. And that's our biggest one yet. I don't even need to measure him. We threw a crankbait, two different style pink worms. You, I hooked him about six times, and he still uh, went after everything. Finally, just took a little Texas rig with two lines snagged right in front of his face, too. Like fighting a bass. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one's gone. That's how we want them to eat it. Yeah. You players. Probably. No, nope, he wasn't even hooked. Yeah. He just had it in his mouth. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I just don't think those hooks are very sharp. That could have been more perfect. Oh, he's just got it by the worm. Oh, he's just got it by the worm. Oh, I got him in the paw. Or the Wait. hand. <laughs> Peeing. Jeez. <laughs> Just let me know when you're done there, sir. All right. Take it. <laughs> All right. That's a big one. Yeah, he is. You got it? That's, that's what we're looking for right there. Chunky legs. Up to six now. Almost one limit. Plenty in there. Is that another? Yeah, green hair. What are you doing, dude? Stop your humping the line. There you go. Is that one gonna be big enough? I don't know. It'll be close. It'll be close. This wacky hook is working a lot better. Yeah. So there was one underneath that tree back there. One, two, one. three. Nope. Not quite. Just four. Just four. Oh, keep going through here and then circle yeah, back out. Who oh, was that a carp? I don't know. I think that was a carp. Last one. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like the last one, right? Yeah. Well, he might. Oh, he beat all over me. A little small? No. Yeah. Four. Floated right on top of him. Oh, he actually went for it. That seems small. That's a pretty small one. 
Could be. There's one right here. I got him. Oh, what? <laughs> nice. Doubled up. Let's see how big he is. Oh, he's peed all over me. I think he's too small. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll go. go a little farther back, too. Yeah, he's good. I think that one's at least this size. Yeah. Yep. Good. We got eight. Mayhem. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, here's another one. We lost one. Oh my god. <laughs> you had like 15 on you. <laughs> that one's right. <clears throat> Jeez. And I guess we gotta put that lid on tight. Yeah. Oh my freaking god. Put my things in the tree. <laughs> I think he's big enough too. Yes, he's like 12 and 3 quarters. 4 and 3 quarters. Or 4 and 3 quarters. Yeah, he looks 13. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, he got it. That didn't take long. Oh, oh! <laughs> That's not a bad one. No, that's a really good one. <laughs> it took a whole bank to finally find one. Got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Holy shit! <laughs> Well, no, nope. too short. A little four. Could be our last one. He's big enough. I think he's big enough. Number fifteen. Out of our 16 limit. Yeah, popcorn. Well, this one's all that good. Yeah. Getting hot. Block. Yeah. That's big papa. What do you think, pup? Hmm? Hi. Hi. Oh. Yes. There we go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> My uncle and I had a freaking blast uh, frogging this morning. It took five, four, four and a half hours to catch 16 frogs, but we ended up with a two man limit and uh, some pretty big ones. Um, I'll show you the, a couple of the bigger ones here in a second, but. Um, had a blast. I haven't been able to get out and do the frogging too much in the past couple of years. There just wasn't, I was probably busy just fishing in general and um, we just haven't, the frogging hasn't been as good in the past few years and so I'm glad we could get out and hit a two man limit today. That was awesome. Um, if you guys want to see the, uh, this is the catch part. We're going to clean and cook them. 
um, here for lunch and have a little gathering with the family. And uh, if you guys want to see that part, um, I'm going to make a, a second part of this video and clean and cook them. Um, if you guys want to see that, then it will be in the next video. But this video is probably already long enough and I didn't want to add all that in there. So it's definitely going to be uploaded right after this video. It will be the next video after this. Uh, we're going to cook them up, show you guys how we do it. And uh, I'm excited. It will be a Nebraska surf and turf is what we're going to call it because uh, cooking up some big old steaks um, for everybody and then have some frog legs along to go with it. So pretty happy. Um, definitely try it. Um, it's definitely something you need to try. Frog legs are really good and, you know, they, they can be deceiving looking, but they taste like chicken. I mean, and who doesn't like chicken? If you don't like chicken, I'm sorry. But, yeah, basically... Uh, if you have questions, comment down below like what I use and everything, but a floating Z-Man worm works great. I prefer to cast and fish for them. It's way more fun. And we use, we ended up switching to wacky hooks because it was hooking them better. But movement, movement is the biggest thing. You can use a frog, a topwater frog. You can use a worm. Anything that you can cast up onto banks near these frogs is going to be ideal. Um, some of the other things you might need is a net, um, a bucket with a lid, and maybe uh, a measuring device for sure, a uh, tape measure, a board, and binoculars, that helps too. Um, sometimes they camouflage and they're hard to see, but definitely need a good eye for them. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and thanks again for everyone that has subscribed. I've had a ton of new subscribers, and we hit a thousand finally. Can't thank you guys enough, and if you are new here, Please subscribe and like this video. It really, I really appreciate it, and it helps me out a lot. So, thank you guys. Until next time.